Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing all of the amazing health benefits associated with intermittent fasting. Get ready, because this video answers the question that I most frequently encounter, which is, why intermittent fasting? Truly, this topic deserves quite a bit of time in the spotlight. So I will most likely do a follow-up video to discuss some of these health benefits in greater detail. Let me know if there is something specifically that you would like to know more about. So let's jump right in. Benefit number one is, of course, weight loss. And there is so much more to intermittent fasting than just the weight loss, but... In reality, it is one of its greatest appeals. In fact, an article that I looked at out of the Annual Review of Nutrition titled Cardiometabolic Benefits of Intermittent Fasting showed that the intermittent fasting method of time-restricted eating can result in a 2-4% to reduction in body fat in 3-8 to eight weeks. By contrast, alternative day fasting as well as 5-2, which is a modified version of alternative day fasting, was also examined and the results were consistent with a 3-8% to eight loss in body fat in roughly the same time frame. Okay, so you heard me say that the way in which our body uses insulin plays a major role when we're talking about weight loss. Insulin is a very important hormone because it allows the body to take up insulin within the cells and to use it for energy. However, bad things can happen when we have too much or too little of this hormone. And this brings me to benefit number two, intermittent fasting combats insulin resistance. We can all relate to having become accustomed to things in our environment that we simply learn to ignore or tune out. That is until the buzzing becomes so loud that it snaps us back through the haze and demands to be acknowledged. Imagine sitting and working in a busy cafe it is super easy to get lost in a book or on our phones and completely lose awareness of the hustle and the chatter around us. Now, imagine that the cafe suddenly clears out and you're now sitting there alone. You are definitely going to set up and take notice. You would also notice if a bunch of new faces suddenly walked in through the door. The alternative scenario would be that you continue sitting in that hustle and bustle of a busy cafe and you would need a greater stimuli to get your attention, like a tap on the shoulder or someone pulling up a chair. In the body, that's the pancreas working overtime to produce large enough amounts of insulin for the body to take notice. But this doesn't pan out well for your pancreas in the long run and may eventually result in diabetes. Intermittent fasting essentially brings you back to that suddenly empty cafe so that you'll notice when insulin walks in through the door to get the job done. Another key concept to understand is how our hormones are much like players on opposing teams. Imagine a game of softball. While one team is up to bat, the other is out in the outfield. You can't have two teams up to bat at the same time. So when insulin is up to bat, its job is to assist us in using glucose for energy. That includes stashing it away in the liver and also the muscle tissues so that our body can utilize it later as a quick snack. But because the team insulin is called to bat every time we eat, that doesn't give the other team a chance to take their turn swinging. This is the prime example of what I have referred to as hormonal imbalance. In this way, the body is getting the raw deal because insulin just keeps doing what it's supposed to do. It stashes away energy, and once the quick and easy places are filled, it just keeps at it, packing away that energy in the form of our love handles. That's why it's important to put down the snack and to let the other team head up to bat because when that happens, we begin to use the energy that was stashed away, aka burning fat. Intermittent fasting gives the body the ability to regain insulin sensitivity and to utilize it more effectively. Understanding how insulin resistance works makes it easier to understand why the next item on our list is so important. Introducing benefit number three. Intermittent fasting helps to protect us against metabolic syndrome. Let's start with what is metabolic syndrome? Well, according to John Hopkins, metabolic syndrome refers to a cluster of risk factors specific for cardiovascular disease. These include high triglycerides, high blood pressure, and impaired fasting glucose. Hello, insulin resistance. 
Can you see the connection? Why is it important to avoid going down the road of metabolic syndrome? Well, this condition leads to a whole host of problems, which include diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Not to mention polycystic ovarian syndrome, fatty liver, cholesterol gallstones, asthma, sleep disturbances, and some forms of cancer. Yep, it gets ugly. Moving right along. Intermittent fasting helps to reduce inflammation in the body, which is benefit number four. Understanding how chronic inflammation or an overactive inflammatory response is harmful in the body is an important concept to grasp in order to understand why we don't want anything to do with it. So the inflammation process in the body is much like a renovation project on your home. If you have a leaky roof, for example, or a problem with your siding, you call in a crew, right? Well, that's what the body does when we have tissue injury or a viral infection. It activates our immune system and sends out our defense cells, which is great, right? Yes, but the process can get very messy, just like with a renovation. It's great when we have a five-star crew that's running the job, they come in, they get the job done, they clean up, they pack up, they head out, and they leave us with a beautiful, complete project. However, if you have a renovation that is dragging on, or if we have a crew that's confused about the project and just keeps spinning their wheels, not really getting anywhere, we wind up with a nightmare of a problem. First of all, we've all had some type of injury, strain, or sprain that has been painful, not to mention the other symptoms that go along with it, which include warmth, redness, and swelling. Prime examples of symptoms of inflammation, which are much like the renovation process when things are being torn down and as part of fixing the problem. Now, imagine that being ongoing. What ends up happening? Damage, destruction, and dysfunction. This is what happens when you have an overactive or a chronic inflammatory response, which is most often associated with an autoimmune condition in which the body attacks its own healthy tissue. Here's a list of examples of autoimmune inflammatory conditions. Intermittent fasting is much like hiring on an excellent, highly recommended general manager to oversee the renovation and keep the project in check. Intermittent fasting has demonstrated in studies to have a reduction in inflammatory markers within the body. In this way, it helps to manage symptoms. And to piggyback off of the anti-inflammatory benefits associated with intermittent fasting, I would be remiss not to add the cardiovascular protective benefits of intermittent fasting. That's right, benefit number five. Intermittent fasting has demonstrated that it helps to increase levels of adiponectin in our system. Not only is this compound anti-inflammatory, it is cardioprotective. In an article out of the International Journal of Molecular Sciences titled, Adiponectin, a therapeutic target for obesity, diabetes, and endothelial dysfunction, it describes adiponectin as being the most abundant of the peptides secreted by our adipocytes, whose reduction plays a major role in obesity, insulin resistance, diabetes type 2, and cardiovascular disease. It has also stated that research into humans and rodent models have consistently demonstrated the role of adiponectin as an important physiological regulator of insulin sensitivity, glucose, and lipid metabolism, as well as cardiovascular homeostasis, all important things, and our age, as well as our body composition, impact how much of this key peptide we have available to utilize. Bringing on the intermittent fasting can help to boost the level of this peptide that we have available and can offer us this cardio protection. This is a great time to introduce benefit number six. Intermittent fasting can help to strengthen our immune system. One of the ways that it does this is through intestinal stem cell regeneration. As we age, we naturally have decreased numbers of intestinal stem cells. Boosting our numbers, therefore, is largely beneficial, as these powerhouse cells play no small role. I like to compare stem cells to an educational institution, for example, if an educational institution was a live entity. For example, colleges all over the world are recognized for molding and producing lawyers, teachers, doctors, nurses, 
you get the picture. Individuals that are very specialized with a special skill set that allows them to go out and perform a very specific job. You can see why having educational institutions is so vitally important to our system. And stem cells take no second place. They are responsible for producing different types of cells that are vitally necessary for our body to function. Intermittent fasting helps specifically to boost the amount of stem cells that we have within our gastrointestinal system. These stem cells not only help to maintain the integrity of our gut lining, they are also key in generating cells that are responsible for nutrient absorption, antimicrobial activity, and hormones, which includes the well-recognized serotonin. Serotonin is a feel-good hormone, but it also plays a role in happiness, sleep, sexual behavior, digestion, and hunger. It also influences learning and memory. Keynote why we're so interested in the health of our gut. About 90% of serotonin is found within the cells lining the gastrointestinal tract. Not to mention that 70 to 80% of our immunity is located, you guessed it, within the lining of our gut and it is the home of our gut microbiome. This is a topic that I find hugely interesting. So I will be doing a follow-up video to discuss it in greater detail. Stay tuned. The last topic that I would like to discuss in this two-part series is brain health. Yep, intermittent fasting offers neuroprotection. Introducing Dr. Mark Matson, a professor through John Hopkins, who is recognized for his research in the connection between intermittent fasting and its impact on neurodegenerative disease. As part of his research, Dr. Matson found that utilizing intermittent fasting assists with resilience against amyloid plaque formation within the brain. What this translates to is some protection against the all too familiar neurodegenerative disease, Alzheimer's. Intermittent fasting is also recognized for boosting our memory retention as well as learning capabilities. Yes, please. Who doesn't wanna stay sharp into their later years? It does this by way of impacting the health of our hippocampus, as well as dialing up that neural connectivity. Intermittent fasting has also demonstrated boosting levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Why is this a great finding? Because low levels of BDNF has been linked to conditions such as depression. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the first of my two-part series discussing all things intermittent fasting, health benefits. A key question that I will continue to answer is why is intermittent fasting so important? And the answer can be no surprise. We are living longer and longer. And if we can reduce risk factors that place us at higher risk for disease, we have a chance at the future that we deserve. Greater quality of life, healthier minds and bodies. And for those living with chronic disease, intermittent fasting offers a means to manage symptoms by way of its anti-inflammatory benefits. Not only that, but as someone who has worked at the bedside in an intensive care background, this topic strongly resonates in my life. I have seen firsthand the impact that chronic disease has not only on the patients, but their friends, family, their loved ones, which is why I am working towards a healthier future and getting the word out there so that others can see if this is an option that works for them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps to get the word out, to reach others, and to let them know what intermittent fasting has to offer. Not only that, it is a great way to answer questions when you have well-meaning family and friends that wanna know what it is that you're so excited about and how intermittent fasting can help. I'll see you next week and we'll chat some more.